Hi guys, this is Alex, and I wanted to make a show by Rock guide uh, that just goes into some of the things that I saw a lot of people having questions about, like leveling bands and what menus mean. I know a lot of people are turned off by this game because it's all Japanese and the menus can be kind of confusing. Uh, so I just wanted to do a brief overview. I know that there's another guide out there right now, uh, but after looking at the English Tumblr page, I, no I noticed a lot of people just still had a whole lot of questions. Uh, that a lot of people were confused about. So I'm going to try my best to answer some of those questions. Um, first of all, uh, to answer a common question, uh, no, this game is not in English. I know that the anime had an English dub, but you do need a, a Japanese iTunes account in order to download this game. I'm not going to go into detail about how to do that, uh, but I will link the English uh, Show by Rock fan Tumblr, which has guides on how to install it on iOS and Android. Uh, if you already play games like Idol Master, uh, Starlight Stage, you'll prob you can probably just go ahead and download this as you can find it by just typing in Show by Rock and it shows up in English. Uh, but otherwise, if you're just used to playing the Love Live English server, for instance, you're going to have to make a Japanese iTunes account. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to do a brief overview. Uh, first things first uh, is this menu. Uh, first, the exclamation button is the announcement button, uh, and I can't read most of the stuff, but basically uh, what's going on right now is that the first top button is the current limited gacha, the second one is the new song release, uh, third one is the current furniture event, I don't know what the fourth one is, uh, and fifth one is more furniture, and then a bunch of notices. Uh, and then the second one is a present box, which if you played Love Live or Starlight Stage, it's just like that. Uh, third one is the goals, which lights up every time you complete an achievement, and it gives you things like Melodesians, which are the major currency in this game, or gold or friend points, which you use on the regular gacha. Uh, the fourth one is currently glitched out, but it's the story menu, and basically each band has a, a bunch of stories, like seven stories, except for Spectre Notes, because they're new. Uh, and you get the first two basically right off the bat. The first one is free, but the second one costs like 3,000 gold. Uh, and you get friend points from it. Uh, and then the rest of them you have to unlock by leveling up the bands a certain way, which I'll get into. Uh, the second button is the old events button. And a couple people were saying that you don't get anything from doing these events, but that's not true. If you pay, you pay 3,000 gold per story and you get... 2,000 friend points, I believe, and that's actually really useful when you're grinding at first for uh, SRs and Rs to turn into the Kami Gacha, or just to use on your team, because SRs are pretty useful until you have a full team of SSRs, which is really hard to get. Uh, there's also the home menu, which is the second button on the, in the center, uh, and basically just to do a really quick overview of this menu, uh, the first button with the little cat symbol is your Mumon, and you can edit your Mumon and buy clothing. Uh, the second button is the shopping menu, which you buy new furniture. Third button is the closet, which is where you keep all the furniture you're not using, or like where you get your UR plushies when you collect them. Uh, fourth button is to upgrade your whole house size, which isn't currently working right now. I got like an error message or something when I used when I clicked it earlier. Uh, the little friend button is to invite a friend over or to go over to a friend's house, uh, and I'm not sure what the last button does. I think it's to revert your furniture to how it was before. Uh, the only major thing is this little maple button in the corner, in the bottom uh, right corner, which currently takes you to the event. I don't know how long this is going to be going on, but the current one ends in nine days. And basically you just collect materials... Uh, from doing regular songs, and you get materials, and then you have to build furniture in order to build more furniture, and you just, the pink chair represents furniture you've already built, uh, and you use that to build more furniture. Like I said, this current one is going on for another nine days, uh, and but it looks like they're going to have more furniture building events. Um, that's the stuff that I noticed wasn't covered very well, or that people have a lot of questions about on the first on the home page, uh, the little bus icon brings you to the live tours and the crown brings you to events which aren't really going on right now so that brings you to the new songs uh, and the free play and also the place where you can grind angels and music notes. Uh, next is leveling which is little strawberry hard guitar in, on, the set, on the bottom. 
Uh, this is where a lot of people have a lot of questions, so I'm going to try my best to cover it. It's a bit confusing, uh, but basically whenever you play songs, you get these orbs. Uh, if you play lower level songs, uh, you mostly get the uh, rough orbs in the, in the left. Uh, and you need the most of those, uh, so don't neglect those. Uh, the second, when you play like level four and up, I believe, I could be wrong on that, you get the regular orbs, uh, which you also need. And then when you S rank songs, especially on uh, higher difficulties, you sometimes get the glowing orbs, uh, which you need at the later levels. Uh, and basically, if you've played Ensemble Stars, it's kind of like their leveling system to idolize your band or to idolize your members, uh, where you just use the branch. Um, but basically the only branch you really need to worry about if you just want to make a beeline to leveling up your bands the most is the straight one. Uh, as you can see on my Plasmagica one, I did go up the 21, 24, 28 branch, and that's because that's how you unlock the next story. Every level has, um, a 21, 24, 28 branch. Uh, and that's, like I said, how you unlock the next story. And the first level gives you 10,000 gold when you unlock the 128. The second level gives you 3,000 friend points when you unlock the 228. Uh, and the third level gives you 10,000 gold when you unlock the 328. Uh, it's a lot harder to unlock these little branches than it is to just go straight up the uh, branch. So you have to decide if it's worth it or not. Uh, obviously, if somebody's translated the stories, you can read them online. Uh, but I tend to just fast forward through them and um, just get the reward at the end. Uh, basically, you collect, like I said, you collect each color orb by doing each color song. Uh, and then when you get to the top level, which is the little thing, the little different colored one at the top, it'll show you that you need music pages. Uh, each level needs more music pages and different music pages. Uh, and you get these by doing boss fights, which spawn randomly once you do, while you do live shows. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's not really a pattern to when bosses spawn, and I've heard a lot of people have a hard time triggering them. I tend to get them at least once per day, like mostly when I've just run out of energy, so I have to wait a while. But basically, once you get a boss fight, you have an hour to defeat it, and it just picks a random band, and you play a song on that band. And if you play on difficulty 4 up, I believe it guarantees you at least one or two music sheets, uh, which is the most reliable way to do it. Uh, it's really not as complicated as a lot of people are making it out to be on like official guides. Like I know that, like like I said, the only branch that I really care about is the 21, 24, 28 branch because that unlocks the next story. But I'm pretty sure the other branches do things like increase your tension level or like uh, increase how fast your frenzy bar goes up. But I haven't really noticed any difference by avoiding those that I don't get, or by upgrading those that I don't get by just having better cards. Um, so those are the major things I saw a lot of people asking about. The other thing is, like, what the Kami Gacha is and, like, how you get points for it. Uh, so basically the Kami Gacha is one of the four gachas in Show by Rock. Uh, the first gacha is the Melodesian one, which is basically, like, the Love Live Love Gem version. Uh, basically you can pull one guaranteed rare for five Melodesians, or you can pull... Uh, 10 with a guaranteed SSR or above uh, with 50. Uh, and the first one is the limited one, and that will always be the limited one. I and I rec recommend pulling from that one because these cards go away forever, basically, unless they decide to re-release them. And the second one is the generic one that's always available. Uh, the second tab is the friend point gotcha, which is where you'll get a majority of your rares and SRs uh, just by and you get friend points really easily in this game. Uh, you get a lot of achievements for it, and you get it by unlocking all the stories and just, like, max-leveling songs and bands. Uh, so that's pretty easy to unlock, so I don't recommend soloing on the Melodesian gacha because you'll probably just end up with a rare that you'll probably would have gotten for free uh, with friend points, and honestly, Melodesians take a long time to build up in this game so I don't recommend wasting them if you have the opportunity. Uh, the third tab is the Kami Gacha, which basically you exchange rares uh, that you get from either the Friend Point Gacha or the Melodesia uh, Gacha, and you can exchange rares, SRs, SSRs, or URs, but I don't recommend exchanging the last two. Uh, and you exchange them for points, and once you get 300 points, you get a guaranteed UR that's exclusive to the Kami Gacha, so you can't get it anywhere else. 
Uh, at the fourth tab is the UR and SSR tickets, and you get these very rarely or by buying like Blu-rays of the anime or like soundtracks. Uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, this last little tab on the side is the menu, options menu. And I don't really know much about what's going on with this one, other than that the key is where you put in promo codes, like the renewal code, if you have that. Uh, but the important button here is the ID button. And I'm not going to press it because that'll bring me out to a different window, but please make yourself an ID. I've, this game crashes a lot, and I've had to reinstall it two times because it refused to update or kept updating on top of itself and added like a gig to its storage level. Uh, and if you do not make an ID, you will have to start all the way over. Uh, please make sure you make an ID that you can remember and a password that you can remember, because from what I've heard, they do not uh, offer any sort of password remembering or anything like that. So please, please, please write down your password somewhere or make sure it's something you can remember. Uh, that's the most important button there. Please make an ID. I guarantee you won't regret it. I think you also get some Melodesians for doing that. Um, that's the stuff that I haven't seen covered very well, like on the fan page or like in other videos. Uh, the other buttons at the bottom, uh, the little card is where you organize your teams. And basically, I recommend making a team for each color, red, purple, blue, green, and yellow, because you're going to need all colors in order to do all the bands. Uh, and the little shopping cart is where you can buy uh, things like extra friends, uh, extra friend slots, because you only have 20 slots in this game unless you pay a Melodesian. Uh, there's also this starter kit, which I haven't bought yet, so I can show you what's in it. Uh, but basically, you get an SSR uh, ticket, uh, 15 gems, and five of each uh, level up card, I think, uh, for 1200 yen. So that's not that bad if you want to spend money on this game. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, just, uh, I guess the other question that I see a lot is how do you earn Melodesians? And basically the uh, best answer I can give you is just play the game because they just sort of unlock at random. If you know Japanese or have Google Translate, you can put the achievements into the uh, into Google Translate. But honestly, I just find it best to just play and level up your bands. And uh, each 25 levels after you hit level 50, I think you get some Melodesians. Uh, and I also know that I got, like, five the other day just for leveling up Plasmagica again. Um, and also, which this isn't covered very often, but you, while the new song releases are going on, if you play the two songs, the two featured songs, uh, you get a Melodesian as long as you full combo the hardest difficulty, which is eight stars. This is really hard, and I've only done it on, like, a couple songs, like, two times uh, in the last, like, four weeks. Uh, so it's really hard, but if you're really good at rhythm games, and this one's pretty easy, uh, like compared to Love Live or Idolmaster, uh, you can get some that way. It's not that much, but every melody adds up. Uh, and from what I've heard, I wasn't playing pre-renewal. Um, weekly events, when they come back, used to give people 16 gems a week, basically. Uh, so hopefully those will come back soon. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to really cover. Uh, I hope that more people download this game, because... Honestly, it's really good, and not, it doesn't get a whole lot of attention like Love Live does or like Idol Master does. Uh, and the character designs are really cute, and the anime is really nice, so please give this game a try. Uh, thank you for watching, guys, uh, and I hope this helped out some people. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you, guys.